Welcome to Ableton Push. In the first video in this series, let's get Push set up and working. Open the Push box that contains the following items. The Push hardware, the universal power supply with three adapters, a USB cable, and the Push Quick Start Guide. On the front cover of the Quick Start Guide is the Push serial number. Once you've made sure you have everything, there are a couple of steps you need to do before you get started. First, visit the Ableton website and log into your Ableton user account. If you don't have an Ableton user account, you can create one here. Then register your push serial number, which can be found on the front cover of the Quick Start Guide. After you've registered, you'll be guided through downloading the latest version of Ableton Live 9. Even if you already have a version of Live 9 installed, please make sure that you have the latest update before connecting Push. After you've finished installing the latest version of Live 9, you're now ready to connect Push. Plug in the narrow side of the USB cable to the port on the back of Push and the wide side to a USB port on your computer. Press the power button to turn Push on. Push gets its power from a USB cable attached to your computer, but you can also connect the optional power supply if you'd like Push's LEDs and display to be brighter. Now launch live. Push is automatically configured, so there's no need to set any MIDI preferences or install driver software. If you're using Live for the very first time, you'll be introduced to the Live demo song. After checking this out, you can select New Live Set from the drop-down menu to load a new Live Set, in which you have two MIDI tracks and two audio tracks. You'll now be ready to make music with Push. In the next videos, we'll show you how to get started.